to my little garden in the back. Really taking off. My little pond back there seems to be doing a pretty good job of holding water. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome, awesome stuff. Saddest part is, is as beautiful as that garden looks, apart from the okra shading things out, those squash have about three weeks left before the July heat kills them. Now, if that okra gets up high enough to shade it, it could stay alive and produce through July and August, and if it does, then it'll produce all the way up until the first frost. I got uh, okra, a variety of squashes, and a variety of legumes growing in there. Hopefully the legumes will crawl up the okra and the okra shade squash. Why did I harvest this little six inch zucchini? This, uh, see it's got plenty of zucchinis coming on behind it. Fact is, is I'm not gonna be here tomorrow to harvest this zucchini. And day after tomorrow, the zucchini will be past prime. So I would rather have it perfectly prime, young, at six inches, than to have it not prime and be 14 inches long. So I'd rather cut it off now it absolutely ensuring that I get to use the fruit versus risking it getting a little bit larger and it not it being puffy, not being a prime of zucchini. There you go. I always there on the side of caution. I'd rather harvest it young and useful than harvest it old and not. This is a day's harvest off in my little garden. And uh, I'm gonna show you this right now. See that zucchini there? See that it's shiny? That is still prime zucchini. That one, still shiny. That is a prime, perfect zucchini. Still young, and these guys, a day ago, they were about the size of my finger. This guy right here, I missed them. You see that he's not as shiny. He's got that powdery look to it. Not the same sort of glossy shine. See the difference? This guy, as far as I'm concerned, he might be okay, but he's not prime. He's gonna have some puffy to him. Up here, he might still be prime, but down there, he's not. See the difference? It's shiny there, more powdery there. So my little old garden, that's one day's worth of harvest, and I'll harvest about this much or more almost every day from it. Now that patty pan there, it's sizable. I've been watching it grow for probably two weeks or so. So that's, uh, and there's another two or three on that vine right now but it'll probably be another week or so before I harvest them too. Little bitty old garden can feed a family or two, uh, maybe three or four. Pretty easily. This is nothing like the garden I used to have where I fed 60 families or more off of that little bitty garden this is about I don't know two and a half three days worth of squash it's all cut up and it's about to be bagged to be froze for stir fry squash and zucchini later on probably I don't know there's got to be 30 pounds or more there I'm going to bag that up and I'll show you how many bags I get later Got them all bagged up. Got 10 full quarts out of two or three days of squash in the garden. And those are going in the freezer just like they are. No blanching, no extra water. And they'll be ready to stir fry without any kind of problem. 
not including any of the patty pans there.